The international civil aviation sector is experiencing one of the most complex phases in its history. Demand for commercial aircraft is increasing significantly as airlines renew fleets, expand route networks, and plan for long-term growth. At the same time, production constraints, supply chain disruptions, geopolitical tensions, and certification challenges continue to reshape how aircraft are designed, manufactured, and delivered. At the center of this transformation are four major stakeholders, Boeing, Airbus, Embraer, and Russia's civil aviation sector, represented by the United Aircraft Corporation and Rostec. Each follows a distinct industrial philosophy, faces different limitations, and targets specific segments of the global market. Together, they illustrate that modern civil aircraft production extends beyond manufacturing alone and now encompasses resilience, technological capability, and strategic autonomy. Boeing remains one of the two dominant players in global commercial aviation, yet its civil aircraft manufacturing system has faced severe challenges over the past several years. The company's flagship narrow-body aircraft, the 737 MAX, has returned to global airline service, but production rates remain tightly regulated by authorities and closely monitored through internal quality controls. Boeing's manufacturing strategy is highly centralized and places strong emphasis on strict regulatory compliance, particularly following the crises of the late 2010s. Assembly lines in Renton and other facilities now operate under intensified inspection regimes with a strong focus on documentation, traceability, and process discipline. While this has strengthened safety oversight, it has also slowed the pace of planned production increases. Wide-body aircraft programs present even greater difficulty. The 787 Dreamliner has experienced prolonged delays, rework campaigns, and delivery backlogs due to quality concerns related to fuselage joins and manufacturing tolerances. At the same time, the 777X, intended as Boeing's next-generation wide-body aircraft, remains pending full certification, delaying its entry into airline service. As a result, Boeing's civil aircraft output continues to remain below pre-crisis expectations. The company is prioritizing stabilization of existing programs rather than launching entirely new aircraft designs. For Boeing, the immediate objective is not rapid growth, but the restoration of trust, predictability, and manufacturing discipline. In contrast, Airbus currently occupies a leading position in global civil aviation in terms of production volume and order backlog. The European manufacturer has firmly established the A320neo family as the world's most successful narrow-body aircraft, supported by strong airline demand and comparatively smoother program execution. Airbus operates a decentralized multinational manufacturing system, with final assembly lines in France, Germany, Spain, China, and the United States. This structure distributes industrial risk and allows Airbus to respond to regional market demand. However, it also requires precise coordination across borders and among a vast network of suppliers. The company continues to raise production targets, aiming for historically high monthly output levels for the A320 family, Nevertheless, Airbus faces its own constraints, particularly in the availability of engines, avionics, and skilled labor. The primary challenge has shifted from demand to the ability of the supply chain to scale safely and reliably. In the wide-body category, the A350 has matured into an efficient long-haul aircraft, while the A330neo remains attractive to airlines seeking lower acquisition costs and proven systems. Airbus has chosen a cautious evolutionary approach, focusing on incremental improvements and emerging technologies such as sustainable aviation fuels and hydrogen propulsion concepts. While Boeing and Airbus dominate large commercial aircraft, Embraer occupies a strategically important position in the global market. The Brazilian manufacturer specializes in regional aviation, business jets, and special mission aircraft, 
combining industrial efficiency with design flexibility. The EJET E2 family reflects Embraer's refined manufacturing philosophy. Rather than maximizing size or range, Embraer prioritizes fuel efficiency, low operating costs, and compatibility with smaller airports. This makes its aircraft well-suited for secondary routes, regional hubs, and high-frequency operations. Embraer's production model is characterized by moderate output rates, extensive customization, and close collaboration with suppliers. Strong partnerships with engine manufacturers, avionics providers, and airline operators allow aircraft to be tailored to precise operational needs. Unlike larger manufacturers, Embraer has largely avoided severe production disruptions in recent years. Its smaller scale allows faster decision-making and reduces exposure to systemic shocks. As airlines increasingly favor flexible fleet strategies, Embraer's approach has proven both resilient and strategically valuable. Russia's civil aviation sector occupies a distinct position within the global industry. Unlike Boeing, Airbus, or Embraer, Russian manufacturers are now focused primarily on strategic self-sufficiency rather than global market dominance. Under the leadership of the United Aircraft Corporation and Rostec, Russia is rebuilding its civil aircraft industry around domestically developed platforms such as the MC-21, SSJ NU, 2214, and EL-114-300. This shift accelerated sharply following the loss of access to Western aircraft, components, and maintenance support. Russian civil aviation manufacturing is undergoing deep structural transformation. Imported systems are being replaced by domestic engines, avionics, composite structures, and subsystems. The PD-14 engine for the MC-21 and the PD-8 for the SSJ NU exemplify this transition toward technological independence. Unlike Western manufacturers, Russia's primary challenge is not demand, but industrial reconstruction. Production volumes remain lower, Yet the emphasis is on establishing a fully autonomous supply chain capable of sustained long-term output without foreign dependence. This approach results in slower initial growth but strengthens long-term strategic resilience. Russian civil aircraft are mainly intended for domestic use and friendly markets where reliability and political certainty are as important as economic efficiency. The differences between these manufacturers reflect deeper production philosophies rather than purely technical distinctions. Boeing emphasizes regulatory compliance and risk control, Airbus focuses on scale and global integration, Embraer prioritizes precision and specialization, and Russia concentrates on sovereignty and industrial security. These philosophies influence factory layouts, supplier relationships, certification timelines, and workforce strategies. In the current environment, no single approach is universally superior. Each model reflects the constraints and strategic priorities of its industrial ecosystem. Across the industry, supply chains have emerged as the principal limiting factor. Engines, cast components, electronics, and skilled labor are in global shortage. Even manufacturers with large order backlogs cannot increase production arbitrarily. Workforce limitations are equally severe. Decades of outsourcing and cost optimization have reduced redundancy across the sector. Rebuilding skilled labor pools requires time, training, and stable demand signals. Russia faces these challenges internally, while Boeing and Airbus confront them globally. Embraer benefits from a more concentrated industrial base, but remains dependent on international suppliers. Looking ahead, global civil aircraft production will remain constrained, but strategically vital. Airlines require new aircraft to improve efficiency, reduce emissions, and expand networks. Manufacturers must balance innovation with safety and growth with reliability. Boeing's future depends on restoring confidence and eventually launching a new generation of aircraft.
Airbus must manage expansion without overstressing its supply chain. Ember is well positioned to deepen its role in specialized markets. Russia continues rebuilding a complete civil aviation ecosystem under exceptional conditions. Together, these cases reveal a central truth of modern aviation. Aircraft manufacturing is no longer simply an industrial activity. It has become a strategic capability. Today's civil aviation industry is more fragmented, more politicized, and more strategically important than at any time in recent history. Boeing, Airbus, Embraer, and the United Aircraft Corporation each pursue different solutions to the same fundamental challenge, delivering reliable and efficient aircraft in an uncertain world. Despite disruption, the industry continues to move forward. Aircraft are still being designed, built, tested, and delivered, albeit under new constraints. The future of civil aviation will be shaped not by a single model, but by multiple production philosophies evolving side by side in a rapidly changing global environment. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.